Remind me never to attempt an entire week of daily uploads ever again, because this week just about killed me. Hello and welcome. This month, we're going to go ahead and we're going to stick with the same format we had last month, which is a quick wrap up for the books that I didn't do a dedicated video on this month. Then I will discuss the books that I'm going to read next month. Then I will discuss the manga and the Patreon pick, which I'm going to actually lump together into one little section this month. You'll see why when we get there, but stay tuned for the Patreon pick so you know which one of my patrons gets to win there. They'll have a like a literal battle. I'm going to start having fist fights, I think. That's what I'm going to do. If I can get them together, that is. Anyway, out of everything that I read last month, I did a dedicated review on absolutely everything except for two books, and those books were The Great and Secret Show by Clive Barker and Gardens of the Moon. Now, I will not be talking about Gardens of the Moon in this video because, hey, first off, I haven't actually finished it. I have like 70 pages left. This once again, this week about killed me. Anyway, I have about 70 pages left, so I haven't finished it. And secondly, even if I had finished it, I wouldn't talk about it here because this one is getting a dedicated video. So look for that probably sometime next week. But yes, we will be talking about that book for sure. Anyway, with that out of the way, let's talk about The Great and Secret Show by Clive Barker. And this is my third thing that I've read from him. Second novel, and I have read Hellbound Heart was not really a novel. I think that's a novella. But man, I just really like Clive. I like his writing. I like what he does. It's so just weird and unconventional. His prose is, I don't want to say it's flowery because it's not that, but he has a way of can just sentence structure, the words that he uses. It's quite beautiful the way he writes. And it's wild because he's writing normally stuff that's pretty on the darker end, maybe not entire horror, but at least, I mean, some of it, how bad heart is. And, you know, a lot of the stuff in Damnation Game is. But even if it's not like horror, it's on the darker spectrum. And even then, like the structure of the story, you'll start out with characters that you think you're gonna kind of follow but then they turn out to be like the main antagonist for the book but you started with them as your opening character of the book so you're like thinking that they're going to be the main character but then he flips out on his its head a few chapters later and the whole opening of the book you're like man this guy's kind of a piece of shit and then you find out that he's actually like the bad guy and you're like oh well, that makes sense, you know, but it's just, like I said, it's just quite unconventional the way that Clive tells stories, and I'm here for it. I just really genuinely enjoy it. I don't think I connected with this one as much as I did, like, say, either of the other two I've read. This might be down on the bottom of the list of books that I've read from him. That's not saying much, considering that I have absolutely enjoyed everything that I've ever read from Clive Barker, but... You know, Hellbound Heart was just amazing, and Damnation Game was pretty amazing, and I'd say this was just really good. So it's probably, you know, lower end of what I've read from Clive Barker. But that, like I said, that's not saying much, because I really, really enjoyed everything so far. I really enjoyed this one. I would recommend picking some anything so far. I mean, if you, I would recommend reading Clive Barker. And if you, and I don't even care where you start, because so far everything that I have attempted to read from him was quite good. So that's it. That's the entire wrap up for last month. Let's go ahead and move on into this month. And I'm going to start this month out with Seven Eves by Neil Stevenson. This will be my second book from Neil Stevenson. The first book that I read from him was Snow Crash. And if you have read that one, that's just fabulous. That is like just a, just a, roller coaster ride the whole way through it's just an absolute blast a joy to read that book so i'm pretty excited to get into this one because i believe this one according to adam savage is the better of the two books at least i think he put snow crash on top because of his enjoyment factor of it but i think he said that this book was written better i can't remember exactly how he worded it but it came with pretty high praise from Adam Savage, and, and he's a pretty avid reader. So I'll take his advice. And I've been trying to get to this for so long. It was either this or the Diamond Age 
as far as my next Neil Stevenson read. And I wanted to get Seven Eves in there. I hear really, really good things about it. I'll probably want to get um, Anathem or Anathem, however you say that, in as well. That one, I have that one on the shelf too, but I just haven't got to any of these. Anyway, Seven Eves. It sounds great. I'm super excited. I'm ready to read it. I really liked the one Neil Stevenson book that I read. Let's go. And of course, next up, I will be continuing with the Sun Eater series, and that is Demon in White. And this is following up Howling Dark. Gosh, my brain doesn't want to work today. I think I needed another cup of coffee and I didn't drink it. Anyway, this is the one. This is the one that everybody talks about. Everybody on the face of the planet says that this is the best Sun Eater book out of all the Sun Eater books. And at least most people will tell you that. So let's see exactly what all the hype is about. Because let's be honest, this is book is following up Howling Dark. And if that if Howling Dark did anything for the Sun Eater series, it is raise the bar. So this has a pretty high bar to to uh, you know surpass, and we'll see if it really really does. But either way, I'm looking forward to it. Look forward to that because I probably will do a video for that one as well. Because so far I've done a video for every book in the Sun Eater series. I say every book like it's been more than two books, but so far I have done dedicated videos for all of them. Um, this will probably be no different. We'll see if I continue to do dedicated videos for them. Sometimes it gets harder as you move through a series and you get into books like four or five and six. It gets harder to talk about them because you like end up just feeling like you're repeating yourself. So sometimes I just kind of like drop off and then I'll do like a, a series review when I'm done with the entire series. I don't know. We'll have to see how that one fares. That series. And then next up, I realized with my next pick that I have a problem and I read like way too much science fiction. So I had like Seven Eves and then after that I had Demon in White and then after that I had another science fiction pick which was actually The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. I'll probably have to get that in soon just because I really want to get into reading Margaret Atwood just to see. I've never read anything by her and I really, really want to. Anyway, no, that aside, I pulled that one actually out of my TBR because I realized I had three science fiction books in a row and I'm like, I gotta stop. I really need to pepper some other things in here. So I grabbed a horror book and this one would be The Girl Next Door by Jack Ketchum. And this has been sitting on my shelf for a long time. Actually, as a matter of fact, this was my horror read for this year. This was supposed to be the Halloween read that I read this year, and I pulled it out last minute to do House of Leaves, and I'm kind of glad I did because that book was fabulous, just amazing. Video went up yesterday on that one, if you haven't. Actually, it's today as I'm sitting here recording, but for you, it'll be yesterday. But anyway... Um, yeah, that video went up yesterday. If you didn't watch it, go watch it because, oh, oh, it's such a good book. And I kind of put a little de decent amount of effort into that. Anyway, I don't even really know what this book is about. I just know that I hear absolutely gruesome things about it. It has disturbed people. It's upset people. Even when I did my extreme horror read for last month, Gone to See the River Man, um, people were in the comment section dropping this as a recommendation if you're into some like really just dark, gruesome, extreme stuff. And let's be honest, I didn't get to really load down my October with tons and tons of horror. I kind of meandered around there to get in some fantasy and some science fiction in some of the series that I was trying to read. So let's just get some good horror in in November. It'll be cold and chilly and dark. It'll feel nice and moody. It'll, it'll fit right in, I'm sure. And then, of course, last but not least for the month of November will be Dead House Gates. I will be continuing Malazan into book two because the first one's just been a wild, wild ride, we'll say that. Um, I don't want to spoil too much about that book because I'm not... You know, we're going to talk about it next week. But yeah, no, I'll definitely be continuing this. We uh, had to hunt me down some dead house gates. So I genuinely am enjoying the first one. And I'm genuinely kind of excited to see where this series kind of goes and see what all the fuss is about. I'm not even going to lie. See what all this hype is about. Because boy, if there's a hyped series out there on BookTube, this is one of them. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. And I just want to really... A, want to know what the hype is about, and B, really, the first one has been a very good ride so far. So let's get going, keep going with the Dead House 
gates. Now, moving on to manga, I don't have any of the manga yet that I'm going to read this month. I will, I'm actually waiting for it to arrive in the mail because I had to buy all of it because I just don't have that stuff on the shelf behind me. Now, the reason why I'm putting the manga and the Patreon pick for the month together is because they kind of go together. I originally planned in my brain that I would, as soon as I finished Vagabond, I would just slide right on in to Vinland Saga and it would be the next thing that I read. Well, that didn't happen because when I finished Vagabond, it was in October. And then I wanted to do Tomi, Tomie for my um, October read. Now... I technically should transition into Vinland Saga, but it was nominated by one of my patrons for the Patreon pick, and I almost messaged him and told him to pick something else because I was probably going to read Vinland Saga, and I thought, well, well, let's see how this plays out. Maybe it'll be the Patreon pick. It wasn't. It lost to um, Planets, which is an actual manga by the exact same mangaka that wrote Vinland Saga. I thought, oh, you got to be kidding me. So I said, fuck it. And I am going to transition directly into Vinland Saga, like I said I was going to, which was nominated by Draglogia. And so, no, he did not win. His, his manga did not win. But I'm going to transition into it anyway, because that's what I originally intended to do. And then Max13, who nominated Planets, was actually the one who won. So the Patreon pick for the month is Planets. But I will be also transitioning directly into Vinland Saga because that was my plan to begin with. So expect to be hearing about those in the near future, especially planets. I always try to do my Patreon pick as one of the last videos of the month or at least in that last week. So that's when to expect that one. Vinland Saga, it'll land wherever it lands. It's just kind of, you know, however I get it in there, I'll get it in there. But do not worry. Either way, I do want to say thank you to Max13. He was the actual patron that actually won the Patreon pick for this month, um, but kind of got to, I guess, for the price of one. I don't know. Anyway, if you ever want to get a vote in one of these Patreon picks for the month, the link for my Patreon's in the description below. The link for my Discord's in the description below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. I shouldn't try segue, should I? 